And you know the coolest thing that I found out when I bought this car? Done. Let's go into Walmart, guys. Yeah. Can you swear on YouTube? Yeah, yeah you, you just blank it out. To, you don't want to drop too many F words. What do you call this in the UK? Um, we call them cheese balls. Yeah, cheese balls. New Maserati Levante. Okay. One of my neighbors is like, that's the smallest dog I've ever seen in my He's life. He's laughing. One, one of my dogs would eat that. He in must one be bite. a YouTube celebrity or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably thinking, who are these guys driving around in this ball of car? But yeah, I just bought this car, like my first ever car purchase in the US. It was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And you know the coolest thing that I found out when I bought this car, right? So they print the tag plate off in the dealership when you get the insurance, right? And uh, apparently for like 25 bucks, I can go to the DMV, which I'm doing, by the way, on Monday, 25 bucks. I can get a personalized number plate. So I'm getting the number plate deal maker. D E 4 L M K R, which I'm going to buy 25 bucks in England. That would cost you about a hundred grand. So we call that a license plate. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So in England to, to buy, they're called cherished plates, right? To buy a cherished plate. That's like a really popular name. You're paying like crazy money, like, crazy money the one of the most expensive number plates in the uk is c o m one c which reads comic and there was a an old uk comedian called jimmy tarbuck who bought it he paid a hundred thousand pounds for it and when he died it was valued at over a million pounds for a plate right a million pounds absolutely crazy so i could buy one over here for 25 bucks only in america so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to the DMV, um, which is cool. And then also I'm going the following day to get my, Chris, my Florida driver's license. You're going to be a, a typical yuppie Floridian by then. It's I'm going to have my Florida driver's license. I can't yeah. wait. It's going to be amazing. But on the, on the personalized plate, what I've got to do is, because uh, if I spell dealmaker out on the plate, I use the seven characters, not six. I can't have the standard Florida plate with the big Florida orange thing in the middle because you won't see the, the word. So I'm going to get one of these like plates, uh, like Save the Manatees or Disney or I don't know, Space Coast. Spell that Space Coast because we live on the Space Coast, right? So uh, I'm going to get a Space Coast number plate uh, that's white and you can see all of the different uh, characters. So just turning left, go to Walmart. So so saying you're going to get a driver's license in Florida, are you saying you don't have a driver's license now? I have a UK driver's license. Oh, okay. Is that, does that translate here? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So I have uh, so a UK driver's license, like an international driver's license. So I can drive it for, tw I can use that license for 12 months. I got 12 months um, to get my Florida driver's license. However, when I bought my car insurance through Geico on Saturday, when I bought this car, Geico guy said to me, you need to have a Florida driver's license within 30 days or your insurance is going to become invalid. So I'm like, uh-oh. Um, so I called my assistant. I'm like, hey, I need a Florida driver's license. So, because I don't have my real visa yet, my E2, that's, we're working on that, as you know. Um, apparently, um, Super Sam, my assistant, has told me exactly what I need. I need my proof of residency. I need like, you know, utility bills, bank statements. <coughs> I need my passport. I need my UK driver's license with my UK address on it. I need my proof of my UK address, not my Florida address as well. And then I need a document called an I-94, which if you go to the Homeland Security website, type in your passport number, they print you out like a record of like all your visits to the States. I've been here a lot, dude, in the last few years. How often do you, how often do you visit? Um, I'm here generally like two weeks on, two weeks off. Um, obviously, I didn't come during COVID. Uh, wasn't allowed here um, during COVID. Donald Trump uh, banned everybody from visiting from the UK and China, and it's called the Shenzhen region, most of uh, most of Western Europe. So I wasn't able to to come here, which is okay. Um, my wife nearly killed me being at home all the time. You know, my, my, my marriage is super healthy because I'm away uh, like half of the time. So 
that's that's the relationship my wife and I have and it works it's super healthy and it's great and we love it um, but me being at home like all the time um, it was tough in COVID right and I'll never forget we're like four weeks into COVID and in the UK it was brutal like they shut the country down you couldn't go out they closed the schools you couldn't do anything you had to stay in right so obviously I live in the country I got like, this little mini country estate so I got a lot of lands kind of walk around that I was working in one of the rooms uh, in my house made turn it into a study and um, all of a sudden there's a there's a worker so people were allowed to work on houses there's a trades guy digging a huge big hole in the garden that looked exactly the same dimensions as a grave so I thought to myself like holy moly my wife's gonna like poison me because I've been annoying her all this time being at home she's gonna bury me in the ground was only when I went out to see what was going on. It was the electrical contracting guy who was building this huge pit to bury all of the stuff for this pond and filtration system that we had built. So uh, that's why you he, don't want to have too much life insurance because when you're worth more dead than alive, yeah, you've got to look over your shoulder. I know. Until yeah, about last year, I was worth about $2 million more dead than I was alive. Really? I wasn't really scared about it because no one knew it. But just, <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. But now, what that tells me is I need to get more life insurance. But yeah, that's that's my trick. Yeah, cool. So we went to Walmart. Uh, we're, so we're in beautiful Vieira. So Vieira is like a brand new town. Is it like what, 10 years old, Chris? Yeah, it seems to be pretty new. Yeah, so it's like 10 years old. Like everything is like new and clean and like the people are really nice. Like you go into a normal Walmart in Florida, it's disgusting. Like it's really like horrible. So Carl, can you tell them the story about your first Walmart experience with me in Alabama and what happened? Yeah, when when they when so number one, so two stories out of the first experience. First time I went into a Walmart, like I literally couldn't believe it. Like the size of the place, like it's like 10x the size of a similar place in the UK. But then what I can understand is right, like in the UK, you go to the supermarket, you go buy groceries. You don't go buy freaking tires or like lighting and all that kind of stuff, right? I couldn't believe that like, Walmart had all of the stuff that you could buy. You could literally go in and buy a tie for your car or an exhaust, and buy a bunch of bananas, right, or beer. I Can I reenact your, your moment? Yeah, reenact my moment. So you, was that your really your first Walmart ever? Uh, yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. So he walked into Walmart, we're in like Madison, Alabama, and he's like, oh my God, it's so big. He said, I've never been to one of these before. It's like in the movies. And he walked up to this candy aisle and he's like, oh my God, little Debbie's. I have never seen these in person. He's like so excited. And he's walking through the luggage section. Everything's so exciting. It's, It was amazing. It's like opening your eyes for the first time to what us in America actually loathe. I don't know about you, but when I go to Walmart, I'm like, ugh, there's so many people and it smells. And I always spend over a hundred dollars more than I went to in there for. And it's just kind of a bad experience. But Carl, tell them what happened when we walked down the snack aisle and there's a redneck there. What, is, what did he say to you? Yeah, so I actually don't know what he said to me because I couldn't <laughs> understand what he said. So I've been to virtually all of the states in America. I've not been to Hawaii or Alaska um, or a lot of, the, or you know, a few of the kind of deep south. I've not been to Mississippi or Missouri, but I've been to most of the other states, right? As in my kind of investment banking career, private equity career, and then all the stuff I've done since. I've been able to go to, I think, 38 or 39 of all the states in the US, right? But I've never been to a state ever where I can't understand what people say. You go to California, you go to New York, you go to Chicago, where I went to business school. You can understand everybody, right? So I'm in this Walmart in Alabama, and I literally, I have no clue what the lady or the guy is saying. They're talking in this really, deep kind of rolly accent and and like i'm not mocking the wonderful incredible people of uh, of alabama but i i just can't understand what they had to say and i don't know if you remember chris later that night you dropped me off at the hotel normally i i stay with my business partner chris but all of his family were like really sick uh, he said hey dude i'm gonna put you in the hotel the hampton inn so you don't get sick right so i i checked into the hampton inn and i needed the wi-fi code and I said to the lady, hello, can you give me the Wi-Fi code? And she's like, rrr, rrr, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. 
and I said to her, can you write it down? Can you actually write it down on a piece of paper? So she had to write down the Wi-Fi code and then I said, hey, what time is breakfast in the morning? <laughs> so, okay, all right, I'm sorry, but I, I, I'm, I'm sorry I don't understand. It's my fault. I'm from England. I don't understand your accent all that well. Can you write it down for me? So she's having to write all these instructions down. And this is America, right? But this was like somebody with a very, very thick uh, Alabama accent. And I love Alabama. Like the people are so lovely and warm and friendly and it's just such a beautiful place. Uh, unfortunately for me, I, maybe because I need to learn Alabamian, I need to understand the accent it's a little a, bit more. Where, where I live in the country, it's not in the city and there are a lot of people with really thick accents. So we're on the Walmart snack cake aisle and he's looking at these things and this guy says, you should try the oatmeal cream pies. Carl looked at me, he's like, I have no clue what he just said to me. <laughs> and I said, he told you to try the oatmeal cream pie. He's like, oh, why didn't you say that? <laughs> and it was, oh man, we've we've had some experiences. I remember the first time we got to Alabama, we went to a grocery store. I was buying the wine for your mom. And you said, I've got to buy mom wine. I mean, she's having me in her home. I've got to bring her a bottle of wine. And this guy looks over at you with this, this smile. He had six teeth in his mouth, maybe. I didn't count them correctly. I counted and, four. And he oh. said something to you and you're like, hell did he just say to me and I said I don't know just smile and nod just smile and nod so for me I'm undercover when I'm there I have to like not not do my hair all fancy I wear a hat and I, I talk like this I'm like hey how y'all doing today you know I just I I blend in with the natives because otherwise they got like you ain't from around here is you boy what about Chris <laughs> what about the snack bar lady in the bowling alley that you oh, and I acquired uh, yeah. when we first when we we first went in after buying that company we went in and were having a tour of the of the building that that snack bar lady again I couldn't understand what she was saying yeah she's she was really hot on you she was looking at you and she was 70 years old dude that grosses she's in me her 60s, out yeah but she she was looking at you like a silver fox, like a, like a fine wine, right? Rawr. Beautiful. And she started looking like this and just like looking up at you. And he, she looked at me and she said, he can to you? And, and that means, is he family, right? And I said, no, and she, he, he married? And I said, yes. And she goes, mm, that's it. And it was, it was just kind of an awkward moment. <laughs> um, and then you said, what happened? I was like, well, she wants to, she wants to seduce you, obviously, but that, yeah. that was the moment. Yeah. And uh, then we looked at the owner who we bought the bowling alley from, and I told him, and he started laughing. It was it was just a moment. It was a good bonding moment. It was. That was all about the rapport, in my opinion, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Rapport is really important in deals. Yeah. Well, let's go venture into Walmart let's go and into see Walmart. what kind of adventure we get from. Let's go into Walmart, guys. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Carl doing the accents in the UK. Can, can I, can I... Uh, also tell us how Americans say water. Yeah. Water. Water. <laughs> yeah. Water. <laughs> Lasagna. Pasta lasagna, don't get any on you. Um, am I allowed to use language in these videos? Are you yeah. allowed to swear You're on YouTube? You're pretty edgy. So Can you swear on YouTube? Yeah, yeah you, you just like it out. To, you don't want to drop too many F words. It's just one just to make sure people know you're legit. That's right. it. Okay. So we'll do yeah, that on at, the way out. A little closer. So we're going into Walmart. Now, this is a nice Walmart, as we would say in England. This is a posh. Walmart because Vieira's only 10 years old it's a pretty new store I came in here the other day um, it's actually a really really nice place and really nice people in here as well so uh, can you say posh and Walmart together do they fit posh oh, a posh Walmart that old guy just beeped at us he beeped at us yeah isn't that rude well he doesn't like cameras he doesn't so, like cameras yeah he's probably celebrity okay. maybe it was Harrison Ford Think about something. Is there anything that you don't think you can buy at Walmart? Because you're probably wrong. A 27 inch Apple iMac. So I want one for my new office. They probably have it at Walmart.com. Okay, because I'm probably going to bring one. Because I got a bunch of those in England. I'm probably going to bring one from the UK. Um, whether you could use a UK iMac in the US. Oh, look at this. Charlie's cheesecake. Hello. How are you? Oh, that was crazy. Do people still buy Corona? Yeah, they just don't buy Bud Light. Wow. Look at these. Heart business. What do you call this in the UK? Um, we call them cheese balls. Yeah, cheese balls. That's yeah. kind of a letdown. I was hoping yeah. it had a cool che name. Cheese balls. 
Wow, so isn't it crazy? You can buy all this like amazing like fresh vegetables. Then you can buy clothes. And you can buy buckets. Do you, do you say bucket in America? Bucket? A bucket? Bucket. No, it's bucket. Bucket. Okay, you gotta pronounce the K. No. The bucket. Cereal. Any others? Wow, look at that. It's a cow onesie. All right, so we need we need wow. a proper kitchen trash can. So the kitchen trash can we found it's about was like big. a bathroom trash can. Not gonna cut it. Yeah, we gotta buy a proper kitchen yeah. trash can. We need some hand soap. Yeah, some some bins. Bins. So it's like some bin bags. Bin bags. We call it trash bags. You call it a trash. We call it a bin. A bin. There you go. What else do we need? Uh, uh, silverware. You only have like one set of cutlery. No, I'm good All with right. silverware. Yeah. I'm good. Hey, swim diapers. Yep. Get that way. You ever had one of these? Flaming hot onions? No. Dude, the kids, it's the coolest thing in the school right now. The more hot food you eat, the cooler you are. Nah. And, at least for the middle schoolers. That I'm That's not for me. Yeah, no. Better. Like, look at the size of this place. This place is freaking huge. This, 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 this store's got two different zip codes. It's that big. You can even buy... Oh, that was paint. No, it's for baby formula. Yeah, you don't can buy drink paint, that. Though. There's paint. There's paint in the hardware section. Yeah. What's this? Like laundry detergent. detergent. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do cool. we have any of that? Yeah, we got some of that. Okay. Oh, you got what's this stuff? Isn't this insane? This is but, normal. But like, we live well, in the south. But one of the things, right? You, you know, I'm a big differentiation guy. I'm all about focus, and I'm all about if you own a business, really lock in what you do. Like the. Walmart's business model is they sell everything to everybody, right? So really, it's their strategy to get you into the store that once you're in, you buy everything you're possibly going to need. Yeah. Like, who's going to come in and buy some limes and then say, hey, I'm going to buy a 70-inch TV? Maybe they do. Look at this. 75-inch TV. Samsung. 1400 bucks, man. That's Crazy. They make them cheaper than that. That would cost get a, you five thousand pounds. Yeah, you can get a seventy-five inch for like eight hundred bucks. That's, that's probably just a nice. One. That's just crazy. Yeah. That really is bonkers. But hey. Yeah. So we're gonna buy a trash can. We're gonna buy some trash can bins or bin bin bags, as we say, bin bags. Okay. My fifteen-year-old Josh wanted me to buy a PS5, so when he comes out can play. The danger is if I buy it now, I'm going to be playing on it all the time and I've got loads of deals to close right now. I've got loads of investor presentations to prepare for. I'm raising capital like crazy. I don't have time to play on the Xbox so, or the PS5, so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, alrighty, my, my basketball memorabilia came today. There's another video on that. That was pretty cool. Alright, Chris Moore. Well, we're trying to find the Show me the bin bags. Bin bags are going to be over there, but we are looking for a kitchen trash can. A kitchen trash can. Yeah. It's like an airplane. Oh, perfect. I'm wondering if that lady used to work on an airplane. You know, on an airplane when they say forward doors to manual, these are the emergency exits. She did that. I think she used to be a flight attendant. So this is a proper, proper kitchen Boom. bin. Right. Let's get this. This one's the motion sensor too. So you'll be able to like touch it and it'll right. open up. Cool. Right. Yeah. Let's go. All right, do you want just to get a bag here? Are those the right size? Yeah, what's the gallons? This one's 12.1 gallon. This one's probably the same. So we want to buy 12.1. Those are 21 gallons, so they'll be big enough, won't they? Uh, yeah, that'll fit. It even has the same picture, yeah. Nine bucks. Right, okay, you hold that. Yeah, I'll hold it. I'll hold this. Buying a trap. If you'd have said to me a year ago, we're going to walk around a posh Walmart and we're going to buy a motion sensor trash can, I'd be like, Really? <laughs> yeah. But well, there you go. Welcome to America. We need some hand soap. Hand soap. Yep. And kitchen. If, and if I can say, we need bathroom trash cans too. I have, so use the. Um, use but there's, the, there's use three the little other trash bathrooms. cans. Use the little trash can from the kitchen in for that. But we have two more bathrooms that we need trash cans we need to get for. A trolley we can just get these two right here. They're they're a dollar. Yeah, we need to get a trolley then. I don't think we need no, a trolley. Okay. What right. else you need? So do you think they sell podcast mics here or not? What's Are a they? trolley? A trolley. What's Best a trolley? Buy probably better. A, tro a trolley. Yeah, Best Buy is better. Yeah. Okay. What's a trolley? You said what? You need a trolley. What is a trolley? A trolley is like what everyone's pushing around. They put okay. their food in. What do you think they call that in America? A trolley. No, a cart or a buggy. 
A buggy is what you push your baby in, right? Yeah, it's a stroller. A stroller? Yeah. This is a stroller. I'm a stroller. I'm strolling down the aisle. It's like a completely different language, right? It is. Yeah. All right, let's go get some hand sales. Stroller. That'll be up front. Yeah, it's a trolley, a shopping trolley. That, that's a trolley. How you doing? Okay. Need some green. Wow. That's pretty cool. That suit me. I think we have def different definitions of cool. Do you think? I was, I was, like green funny. I know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Isn't this cool though? They got everything. So, Lorian, do you get excited to go to Walmart? Hey, what do you think, guys? Uh, not really. They wear these in like Nashville, right? Oh man, you wouldn't crush this. They wear these in Nashville. Yeehaw! They wear these in Nashville. Can we get some deal maker one of these with the deal maker logo? Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of the tension that you don't want wearing a hat like that. Really? Yeah. Okay, better take it off then. Yeah, that's not good. Uh oh. <laughs> no, no, there's anything wrong with that, but you know, I'm. I didn't say anything, but it's what I no. said, I didn't. Don't read into it. Right. What are we missing now? Hand, uh, soap. hand soap should be this way. And what we call HBA. HBA? Health and beauty. Health and beauty? Yeah. Okay. HBA. So Chris, we've had a great day today. We made some money today. A little bit. We did well today. We did make some and money. I'm today. loving the massive new company we just bought. So and I'm pumped that we're doing all the transition meetings, all the handover meetings, yeah. and sellers coming to Atlanta, to our event. So it's gonna be good. I'm really excited about that. Do we need more protein? No, I'm good. The hat, you can put the hand soap in the, in the bucket. You call these buckets? Uh, trash cans. Trash cans? Yeah, let's do a little, little hand sanitizer. We need to find hand soap. There we go. Impressions of the Walmart? Oh man, it's amazing. So clean, like loads of really nice people. Like, like the people are nice, it's really clean and new and they had everything that we needed. So we've just been buying stuff for, for the deal maker, the new deal maker house. So uh, needed a big trash can and some hand soap. And, like, What's the deal maker house gonna be used for? Oh, well it's gonna be my base where I, I'm obviously gonna live there 50% of the time but it's a place where our investors could come hang, business, business partners could come hang, some of our elite students can come hang. It's just a great place where we can collaborate and, and do deals. And you know, there's a really awesome pool. It's in a great community. It's within the, uh, the Duran Golf Club complex. So if any of our guys come down that are really good at golf, they can, uh, we can go play golf with them. We're 15 minutes from the beach. Um, it's just an amazing place. It really, really is. And like, but I, I love America. I've I've been here on and off for over 30 years now. I absolutely love it. But there are some places that they're grungy now, right? They're getting like really grungy. But I love this place because it's like all so new. Um, everything's like like brand new. Hey, where you going, man? Like, where is it? Hey, I don't know where we parked. Let's go find the car. Look for a white Maserati. Did we park way over there? I think we did. I know we parked in the back. I always do this, right? I park and I can never find my car. Right up here. Uh, here we go. The Mazda. Hey, you gonna let me drive it home? Do you want? Yeah. I'm a good driver, I promise. You know that. You bring Yeah, here we go. The white Mazza. My first US car. I don't mess around. I like, I like nice cars. I don't think I'm going to get autograph. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Do you want to drive? Yeah, you let me? Yeah. Drive it. Let's go. You want me to talk American? Hey man. Hey, let's talk about the deal. 
that we closed today. Well, we actually closed it yesterday, but it took a couple of days for the wires to go through the bank accounts, right? Yeah. Yeah. How do you shift in this thing? Uh, I got it. There you go. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Do you want it in sport mode? No. Not in I live my life in sport mode. I can see that. Yeah, I was I was built for speed, not comfort. I'm a sport no comfort, mode. not speed. That's I'm mode. a sport mode guy. But uh, but yeah. So tell me when you're ready, Lorian. Ready, Freddy. So Carl, let's tell everybody about today. What did we do today? What did we do today? So today was a really cool day. Um, we did. Um, we had a board meeting this morning um, for one of our primary companies. So. Uh, that was because it's the start of the month, so we had our board meeting covering what we did in August and year to date. And we're on track to do $8 million revenue this year in that company, which is amazing considering like 18 months ago. We $8 were, million? Yeah, we were doing a million dollars a year. So we've 8x the business in a year, um, which is amazing. So that's great. About a year and a half. About a year and a half. Yeah, about a year and a half, yeah. And then we had, and it was really fun, we had a mastermind. So. Uh, our very, very best elite students, um, we got around 10, 15 of them together on, we were on that call for like two and a half hours. Take a right? I don't know, man. It's okay. I think we're I don't taking, know. I think we're taking a right. All right, keep going. Uh, yeah, it's taking a right, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so we, we had a mastermind with uh, some of our elite students, so David and Jamie and uh, Jim and Brittany and all those guys, so that was amazing. A lot of really, really cool stuff. And uh, the secret project that you and I have been working on that we're going to be launching in uh, Atlanta in three weeks, that's going to be uh, very, very timely based on a lot of the stuff that, that, that came out today. So, uh, you know it's illegal to use a phone in Florida? Not for your driving. GPS. Okay. You can use it for your Down GPS. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you're right to the end, turning right. Yes, yeah, GPS. Okay, I've got okay, nav. I got nav on the car. Yeah, it's cool. We'll just put it right here. I'll put it on. Here we go. Nav. Take it right at the light. Yeah, you're turning, turning right at the very end. Got it. So we got a recent. There we go. That's the address. Boom. There you go. We're in. We're in. We're in. So we close the deal. Secret yep. project. Yep. And we then have. you had a handover call with um, yep. with the with, the with the seller of the company, Nicole. So you you did that. Uh, I uh, I had an immigration attorney call. Don't my immig right. immigration attorney called me, told me what I needed to do to get my visa, and then I had a great chat with uh, a family office investor uh, down in Texas that's uh, hungry for engineering manufacturing deals. So that's really really good. I'm going to connect it with Jeremy on one of the Cody roll-ups. He's also going to come and speak uh, to the protege community on one of the calls. So that was really really cool. But you know the coolest thing that happened to me today? That's all cool, right? But the really coolest thing that's happened to me today? My basketball signed jerseys came today from Amazon. So Steph Curry, current favorite player, Kobe Bryant, all-time favorite player. I've got the jerseys framed now in my office, which was absolutely insane. So- uh, oh, that wall candy. Yeah, so it's been an amazing day, and it's been an amazing week, right? So I, I moved into the house last Wednesday. Thursday, we signed the deal to buy Nicole's business, did a couple of million dollars of EBITDA, it's a great business, right? Friday, um, we consummated that, um, and got all the wires and stuff set up. Saturday, I went and bought my first car. Sunday, I just chilled out. And then Monday, I picked you up from the airport. And then yesterday we had a really cool day. And then this morning, you and I walked four miles there and back to Starbucks to get some exercise and came up with an incredible, incredible real estate investing strategy. Um, and then tonight we're gonna go out and celebrate because we took an exit uh, on one of our businesses today. Uh, so we made some money, we made about a million bucks between us, which is pretty awesome. So we're gonna go and we're gonna party tonight. Like it's 1999, so we're gonna have some fun. All right, the buzzer's in the side compartment of your car, so reach that, push the blue button, it'll open the gate for you. Automation.
there we go it's clever so before I got that to work I used to have to get out and type the code in um, codes no. one 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 right no oh, okay no you get if it was there right so today we had all that going on on top of that I'm quarterbacking sales efforts on four fronts four different businesses trying to solve a closing issue on an offer that's having trouble we're getting some marketing ready for our next dealmaker weekend event which is called creative con creative con it's gonna be a creative financing and dealmaking conference november 10th through 12th in phoenix arizona right? i think yeah scottsdale arizona the scottsdale plaza beautiful hotel nice. the event's already half full we just started selling it yeah. so it's going to be incredible it's me you abraham pace jamil jamil cody barton cody barton and we've got several other heavy hitters in the creative oh, financing man. and making space amazing. yeah i think it's going to be the first creative financing and business acquisition conference that's merged ever. together ever yeah, yeah ever. so it's going to be it's going to be uh, amazing it's going to be pretty awesome it's going to be so. pretty awesome cool all right, well, we're back at the dealmaker house. Uh, push that. Press the park button. And then push that up. There you go, and then there turn the engine off. There we go. It's my Easy. first time driving a Maserati. There you go, man. How do you say that? It's a Maserati. Maserati. No, we, we call it a Maserati. Maserati. Because we pronounce our T's in the UK. We pronounce our T's in the UK. You our, don't. Our T's in the UK and our K's in the UK. Our T's in the UK, our K's in the UK. Our, our K's and our T's. I'm working on my accent, guys. You say Maserati, we say Maserati. You say water. We say water. 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 <laughs> we say bottle. What do you say? Bottle. 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 Yeah. Sugar. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Carl Allen. I'm the founder of Dealmaker Wealth Society. I've done tens of billions of dollars of deals over the last 30 plus years. If you're new to my channel, definitely hit like and subscribe so that you can get all of my amazing dealmaker content in real time. You're not gonna miss any of the outstanding information that I'm gonna share with you. And if there's a question that you've got, if there's something that you want to know the answer for and you want me to speak to it, definitely hit me up in the comment section and I will record those videos for you and I will get them on this channel as soon as possible. So love having you part of this YouTube community and I can't wait to serve you. Until then, bye bye for now.